Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks or Geeks. Today the problem which we are going to see is to find the duplicates in order of n time in order of one extra space. So in this problem we will be given an array of n elements which contains elements from 0 to n minus 1. So the array will have n elements and the range of the elements will be from 0 to n minus 1. And these uh, numbers can appear any number of times. So uh, we, are, we are expecting that the array might have repeating numbers. So it will have some numbers which will be repeating, some numbers will be missing. So in this problem, which uh, we don't have to care about the missing numbers. All we need to do is find out the numbers which are repeating. That are their duplicates. So we find these repeating numbers in order of n and using only constant memory space. So we cannot use a, a memory space of order of n or log n or uh, of any uh, time complexity with respect to the size of the array. We can use only constant memory space. So uh, let's look at an example. So here the n is equal to seven. That is the size of the array. So this array has seven elements and the range of the elements uh, is zero to n minus one. That is 0 to 6. So all the elements lie between 0 to 6. Now in this array, the repeating elements are 1, 3 and 6. So 1 is here and here. 3 is here and here. And 6 is uh, 6 are the, uh, uh, the last two elements of the array are the 6s. So we have the answer as 1, 3 and 6. So this is the problem. Okay, so let's look at the uh, solution. So to, uh, to solve a problem in order of n time complexity and order of one extra space, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, linearly traverse the array from zero to n minus one elements. So we traverse the array and then we, ch and then we check the sign of, the, uh, of this value. So array of i is the value of the current element at index i. So if index i is zero, so a of array of i is one. Now the absolute value of one is one, but if we had say minus one here, so it would have been again one. So the absolute value just, uh, just remove the negative sign. It makes, makes the negative number into a positive number. Okay, so we check the sign of a and the absolute value of a of i. So in this case, if i is equal to zero, so a of i is one, absolute value of a of i is also one, and array of one is actually two here. So we check the sign of the number two here. If it is positive, then we make it negative. Uh, we make it negative uh, by uh, executing the statement. Uh, so two will become minus two here, okay? If that is not the case, if it is not positive, that means it's negative. So in that case, we'll assume that the element has already been uh, uh, been encountered previously in the iteration, and thus, uh, and and thus, uh, this is a repetition. Okay. So let's see how this works. So we did it for i equal to zero. Now let's do it for i equal to one. So i equal to one, area of i is minus two. Absolute value of array of minus two is two. So we uh, come to here three. So we insert a minus sign here. Now we start processing the index two. So array of two is uh, minus three. Absolute value of minus three is three. And the uh, array at my, uh, index three will be one. So we come here. So we again make it negative because it is already not negative. Then we start processing this value i is equal to four. Now array of four is equal to minus one. Absolute value of minus one is one. So we come again here. Now we encounter that uh, the value is already negative. So we say that it is a repetition as in this step. So this is how this will work for whole of the array and will print out the repetitive elements. Now look, let's look at the code. So uh, in the code, we have an uh, driver function. So where we are actually having this array and then we calculate its size. Then we just call the function print repeating, which uh, accepts as an argument the array and its size. 
So inside this function, which is the old crux of our algorithm, we actually have the array and its size as an argument. Then we have an index variable i, which will be used in the for loop. Then we start printing the numbers in this for, using this for loop. So we calculate the uh, absolute value of array of i, and then we put it inside the as the index of array, and then we check if it's negative or not. So if it is not negative, then we make it negative. Otherwise, we print it because uh, we uh, we are assuming that the number has already been uh, encountered once inside the array. If it is already negative, if it is not negative, then we make it negative. So and in this way, this will print out the all the repeated numbers. So the above program uh, doesn't handle the case uh, where uh, one of the number is zero. So if zero is present in the array, this program will not uh, actually uh, cater to that. Why? Because we cannot negate zero. So, but this can easily be modified to handle that too. We just have to increment all the numbers by one, and then we, after processing the algorithm, we just decrement all the numbers by one. So th that can also work. So the time complexity is order of n, and the space complexity is order of one. Uh, which was the required space and time complexity. So yeah, so this works in order of in time complexity and order one space complexity. So that is all for this tutorial. Uh, you can visit this link uh, on the Geeks or Geeks website to find out all the stuff which we discussed in this tutorial and also run the code using the ID on the Geeks or Geeks website itself. Yeah, thank you very much.